Let's start the show. We got one hell of a show for y'all today, man. Got a good show. NBA, man. Y'all, I'm, I'm sure y'all haven't noticed. Yeah, because I haven't been watching either. Ain't nobody watching the NBA. Yeah. You go woke, you go broke. <laughs> but anyway, last couple, uh, like last night, a couple teams, they didn't even show up to play the game yeah. in protest for Jacob Blake. Yeah. And That's privilege, man. Can you imagine showing up to your work? Because I ain't coming in to work today. I'm protesting Jake Blake's death. Jacob Blake. Yeah, Jacob Blake's death. I'm not coming in to work. <laughs> You're going to get fired. Yeah, not the NBA because they're privileged. They got that black privilege going. <laughs> they got that African-American privilege. <laughs> but anyway, and then Doc Rivers, he's a coach after one of the games. He made yeah. a passionate speech. Yeah. Check it out. What stands out to me is um, just just watching the Republican revenge, uh, convention and this, they're spewing this fear, right? Like, all you hear Donald Trump and all of them talking about fear, we're the ones getting killed. We're the ones getting shot. Uh, we're the ones that we're denied to live in certain communities. Um, we've been hung, we've been shot, and all you do is keep hearing about fear. It's it's amazing to me why we keep loving this country and this country does not love us back. That was amazing. Yeah. Feel like I'm watching a puppet show. Feel like I'm watching Sesame Street. I mean, it looks like somebody got you on some strings. Yeah. Somebody got to be pulling your strings. You can't be this naive. Yeah, I mean, I mean, there's a thing called Google. You can research everything. Yeah, um, since 20 what? Since 2017. Yeah, blacks comparing black deaths and white deaths to from cops. police officers. Yeah, whites are almost dying two to one. Yeah. So when you said we the ones being shot, that's not true. No, nah, whites are being killed by cops too. Matter of fact, cops they don't care what your skin color is. If yeah. they feel like that life is in danger. They're going to bust a magazine in your ass. Yeah, they will make it rain. Y'all act like white people live in a secret society. White guy, white cop pulls over white guy. They get in an argument. Hey, hey, man, calm down. We white. We got it made. Look, I'm just going to give you a warning, all right? Yeah, just put the knife away. That's the way y'all think. And stop hitting your wife or I'm going to come back. The way y'all think, after sharing those statistics, the way y'all think, I would think, that there's black supremacists that are cops and they're out here killing white folks. Yeah. That's how y'all think. <laughs> all these uh, scenarios involving blacks and cops, they all have that common denominator. Like the media, when yeah. this story first broke with Jacob Blake, they said he was breaking up in a fight, right? <laughs> no, nah, that's not what happened. Jacob Blake was over his girlfriend's house. She didn't want nothing to do with him. He, yeah. he wasn't supposed to be over there. <laughs> she called the cops on his ass. Yeah. Cops get over there and they figure out this dude's got a Felony warrant for rape. <laughs> he's a rapist. Well, he's, he's alleged rapist, and he's got priors for felonies involving guns. This dude's a violent criminal. And allegedly, the girl he raped was a minor. 14. 14. The cops tried to arrest him, take him down to the ground. That didn't work. They tried to tase him. That didn't work. Jacob got up, pulled out a knife. So let me ask you woke NBA players. You woke African Americans. What else it to do? <laughs> what else could he do? Those two cops. What? Pull out a damn magic wand? What are you supposed to do, man? <laughs> what are you supposed to do? He did everything. He tried to rest him. To, they tried to rest him to the ground. Yeah. They tased him. Dude shook him off like he's in Wakanda. Pulls a knife. What yeah. are you supposed to do? Just let him go? It's getting too risky. Yeah. They got a job to do. So they, yeah, I'm trying to figure out, you, you're saying just dumb stuff. It's like you're living in the past. You're saying we're the ones getting shot. There's certain areas we can't live in. Yeah, yeah. That we're the ones being hung. You're living in the past. I'm not saying forget your past. Yeah. But this country is not systemically racist like it was decades ago. Yeah, you're saying black people are hung. That's true. Guess who was swinging right beside them? White Republicans. You failed to mention that yeah. in your little passionate speech of yours. Yeah. Who hung them? KKK, who founded the KKK? Doc Rivers, 
Democrats, you failed to mention that in your little passionate speech. Also, but you're gonna you gonna talk trash about the RNC? <laughs> hey, and you also said black people can't live in certain areas. Maybe in the past, but not in this country that we live in today. The only times I've been denied living in certain places in the past is because I didn't have the income and my credit was jacked up. That's the only reason it had nothing to do with my skin color. And why couldn't black people live in certain areas? It's called segregation. Jim Crow. You know who founded that? Doc Rivers? Democrats? Man, you woke as shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I fell, I don't understand why you saying we being shot. Doc, you're not being shot. Yeah. You know why? Because Doc Rivers <laughs> is a responsible person that holds himself accountable. He's not allegedly raping minor women. He's not out here uh, committing felonies with guns. He's not out here punching cops in the face. Yeah. He, you're not out there pulling out knives on cops. You, you know ain't why? stealing cops' tasers. Yeah, you know why? Because Doc Rivers is a responsible individual that holds himself accountable. But you want to sit here and cry for a dude. This dude. Yeah. I bet you won't let him watch your kids. <laughs> you would, you would Show never. us how woke you is, Doc. <laughs> Buy him over to your house, have him watch your kids. Or for a barbecue. I bet you wouldn't even put $50 on this man's books in prison. How about if you, I don't know if you got a daughter or not, would you let this dude date your daughter? Yeah, but show you, us how woke you are. Man, Doc, you crazy as hell. Let me ask you something, Doc. You keep saying when is the country going to love us. I think you mean black folks. When are black liberals going to love this country? Because for the past two months, I've seen black liberals and everybody on the left, on the left burn their own communities down. Yeah. When is black liberals going to start loving other black liberals and stop shooting and killing each other? Yeah. The leading actor in this country is black. There's black doctors. There's black lawyers. There's black politicians. The leading we, comedian's black. Yeah, we, we had a black do. president. Yeah. Sound like to me this country loves... Black people are overrepresented in high-paying sport events. In every league. We're overrepresented. You don't see white people crying about, I need some affirmative action. I want to play too. Y'all some clowns. Yeah. Go to officialharvestwins.com and pick you out a patriotic t-shirt today. Hell, I'm even giving you 20% off. Just type in discount code Chinese virus. We call it Chinese because it's from China. We making t-shirts great again. Yeah.